Hi guys, I'm Shannon, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you briefly about debt, but specifically the mind-body money connection of debt. And this may be something you haven't heard about before, but money in general, and there are five different kinds of money, have an energetic meaning. So debt has a specific energy to it, and you can actually, and this may sound strange, but stay with me, you can actually shift your debt by shifting your own energy and your internal mindset around the debt that you carry. So this is part of a process that I do with my clients. It's um, the first step in the program Illuminate that I offer, and it's a confidential money map. So if you've already done that with me, what I want you to do is have that out and look at the number you wrote down for debt. If you haven't, that's fine. What I want you to do right now is I want you to write down the amount of debt that you currently have. Just write it down. I want you to take a look at it and see what it is that you're already starting to feel. And so for most people, I'll just tell you what comes up is it triggers a lot of negative energy, fear, anxiety, embarrassment, and um, I want you to sort of fill in the blank in your mind. I'm gonna ask you a question. So this debt means that I am, and what comes up for you? A lot of people think things like a failure, a loser, a fraud, things like really terrible things that we say to ourselves. So let me just take a deep breath and I want you to think for a moment that this debt that you have, you've actually been programmed to have these feelings around money in general and specifically in debt. And then what you've done is you have created this debt to match the programming. And I know it sounds really out there, but this is something that I am seeing over and over with my clients. So I want you to take a look again at that number that you wrote down for your debt. And we are going to just jump in and we're gonna do some tapping. And I want you to, actually, if you have a second where you're able to write this down, write down any feelings that you're associated with it, or just close your eyes and feel them, sadness, fear, anger. Um, oftentimes a lack of safety comes up and rate those feelings on a scale of one to 10, one being the least, 10 being the most. How strong are they? And then I want you just to take a deep breath and we're gonna jump right in. Um, and you can just follow along the points that I use. You can just follow. It's overwhelming. As I look at my debt, I feel completely overwhelmed. It's too much. It's so heavy. I'm carrying all of this fear in my body. So much anxiety. And shame. I'd be so embarrassed if anybody knew how much debt I really had. As a matter of fact, I'd be completely mortified. I am such a loser. It's no wonder I don't spend any time thinking about my money. No wonder I haven't even opened my bills. This feels terrible. So much heaviness. So much shame. I think about it all the time. Even though I try not to. I feel like a total failure. I'm so embarrassed. I can never get ahead. I never get to feel safe. 
couldn't even tell the people closest to me how much I actually owe. I'd be so embarrassed. And I know that they'd judge me. And why wouldn't they? I judge myself. I've made so many mistakes. I've done so many things wrong. Don't I deserve to feel this way? I'm such an idiot. I made all these wrong decisions. And I really deserve to beat myself up. And to judge myself harshly. Even though from that place, everything feels impossible and overwhelming. And I've been feeling this for years. I've been scared and embarrassed for as long as I can remember. And for just a moment, I'm gonna honor that. All of these terrible feelings that I've had, I honor everything that I'm feeling. Because maybe it's time to start to let it go. Maybe it's time to consider doing something differently. Because what I'm doing clearly isn't working. And I've been carrying all this shame around money and around debt. Shame about earning and spending. I literally can't win. I kick myself no matter what I do. So I'm open to having some compassion for myself and healing this. Because the truth is, I'm open to seeing this in a whole new light. Maybe it's time to let go of some of this, some of this heaviness. I can't move forward without it. And I really do want to move forward without all of this heaviness. and all of this anxiety in my body. All of this deep programming of fear and anxiety in my money. And these thoughts that I feel and think over and over again. I'm open to healing them in my highest good. Take a deep breath and tune into those feelings again. Look at that debt, that, that number that you wrote down. And how does it feel now? How triggering does it feel? Um, those feelings of fear and anxiety, embarrassment, shame on that scale of one to 10. And just notice you probably are feeling already a bit calmer and you're beginning to shift those really heavy feelings. You're beginning to shift the energy that you've been carrying around debt, okay? And so we're gonna just jump right in and we're gonna do another round uh, that's a bit more positive. And I know for some people that first round can feel difficult, particularly if you've done a lot of law of attraction work because we don't wanna speak these things into existence. But I promise you that's not what's happening. What you're actually doing is giving a voice to all of this stuff that's been hidden. 
And so that's really positive. It just is a part of you that wants to be heard and acknowledged. And so just take another deep breath in. I have been so hard on myself. And that has been really hard on me. I've felt all alone in this. Nobody knows how hard it's been on me. Nobody knows how much I've lost. Nobody knows how much I've suffered. Feeling like everything's working against me. And that the cards are stacked against me. It's been some really hard stuff. Feeling like I don't have enough value. Feeling worthless and powerless and disappointed and living with this anxiety and shame for years. <sighs> I've paid a really big price for this. And sometimes it even wakes me up in the middle of the night and I can't sleep because I'm worrying about money. I'm worrying about how I'm gonna pay my bills. And I've added so much to that. I've been so very hard on myself. I have been so mean and terrible to myself. I have said terrible, horrible things. I would never say these things to anybody else. And I have just beaten myself down. And of course that's showing up in my money. And I'm starting to have some new insight about why that might be. And today I'm making a different choice. I'm giving myself the gift of compassion. And I'm honoring all of these difficult feelings. I'm choosing to give myself the gift of understanding. And I'm opening my heart. I'm open to understanding this in a whole new way. In a much bigger way. At a much higher level. I'm giving myself the gift of self-love. And the reminder or the new information that I deserve to be happy. And I really want to heal this. And so right here, right now, I honor who I am, who I've always been. I honor who I'm becoming. I honor this new state of awareness. And that is huge. I honor who I'm becoming. Someone that's conscious and deserving of money. I'm powerful and resourceful. And I bless this number that I wrote down because it's my current reality.
and it's based on an entire lifetime of programming and doing my best because I have been doing my best and everything's changing now I'm open to money flowing in easily and effortlessly. And I'm committed to having a new level of compassion for myself. I'm committed to doing this exercise every day this week. And every time I think about money or my level of debt, I'm committed to saying a new and beautiful thing. I deserve better. I deserve more. I want more. And I am open to healing this debt. And I want you to take a deep breath in and look at that number again that you've written down and check in with those feelings. Where are they now on that scale of one to 10, 10 the anxiety, the fear, the embarrassment? I also want you to notice if anything new has popped up, like a feeling of hope or excitement or joy, um, anything like that, and I want you to write that down too. And just be open to how things start to unfold and commit to doing this exercise daily. Try it for a week and see what happens. I see with a lot of my clients that money just starts showing up. I have a few clients that have recently had checks for a couple thousand dollars just show up in the mail. I have another client that's about to have a huge debt um, discharge from the IRS, like something, a big debt that she's had for probably 20 years. She just paid off $17,000 in credit card debt during the time that we've been working together in these last eight months and that's amazing she couldn't remember the last time she didn't have a credit card debt it's been more than 20 years so be open to what shows up be excited and hopeful and if you are interested in doing this work on a deeper deeper level you can get in touch with me through my website it's www.openhearthypnosis.com. You can send me an email. You can leave a comment here and let me know how this resonated with you, how the numbers changed for you, how those feelings around that level of debt have changed in this really short 15 minutes. I'd love to hear from you. So enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to hearing from you.